Thank you for tuning in to A Chic Eye Shadow. Today what we're making is our orange pork chops. This is a nice, not necessarily um, low in calories. However, I'm using olive oil. The olive oil is our substitute for vegetable oil that will cut down on our trans fat. We're going to take our pan that's already on a medium temperature and we're going to put about two tablespoons of our olive oil in there. For my pork chops I'm going to season them. I already have all my seasonings that um, I use regularly. I'm using the granulated garlic. Just put that, sprinkle that over the oil. And these are a tiny, um, I also just used the complete seasoning, the Saison by Badia. Okay, I just applied that. Now I'm going to use my garlic pepper and I'm going to apply that. I love garlic as you can see. I'm using garlic twice and seasoning the pork chops. And we're going to flip them over as well. Let's make sure that we get a nice even coat of seasoning on both sides. That's another thing when you are making anything that you make, seasoning the meat thoroughly. I'm going to take my Morton salt. Now this you can substitute by using sea salt um, if you do not get table salt. I'm going to put this in my hand just about that much, which should be about a table, I mean a teaspoon. And I'm just going to drizzle that over. Okay. You always want to make sure that our meals are low in salt, low in fat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my seasoned pork chops. And I'm just going to put them in that olive oil and let them brown. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut three oranges. This calls for a half a cup of orange juice. So I'm going to squeeze these oranges. These are nice and juicy. This is orange season here in sunny Florida. All the way through the 1st of March. Trying to get as much juice out of these as I can. My pork chops are in the back. Found they very delicious as they are browning on each side. Now we just want to make sure that after we squeeze these oranges, don't get rid of the orange half that you cut. Just set them aside. This is going to be a delicious meal. And believe it or not, if you use a juicer, you probably get a whole cup of orange juice out of three oranges. Me squeezing it like this, I'm not getting as much out. Okay? Okay, and as you can see, I have the pork chops and they are browning on both sides. Okay, now that we have the orange juice squeezed, we are going to apply that. Okay, that was a half a cup, and then we're going to put our dry white wine, which is another two tablespoons. All right, and we're going to turn this down to medium low, and we're going to let this simmer. It smells absolutely delicious. Okay. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes until the pink is no longer in the meat. I'm going to cover this. Okay. And we'll be back after that's done. Okay, now what we're going to do is thicken up our sauce. I've already taken two tablespoons 
of our cornstarch and two tablespoons of our water and I've whisked that together and I'm going to put it in a seasoned stock from and we just made the pork chops. I have it on low heat and I'm just going to take a fork. You can take a fork or you can take a whisk, a wire whisk. And you're just going to make sure that this gravy is evenly stirred or whisked together. Okay? Now mine has already started to thicken up. So I'm going to turn this heat off. And you're going to put your pork chops back in the gravy. And I'll show you the finished meal. Okay, here we are. And we're going to make our summer squash and zucchini dish. Right now I have some garlic and onion simmering with the butter and I'm going to apply a little bit of olive oil because I'm going to put the zucchini slices in, zucchini and squash slices, more so just zucchini. You can use zucchini and summer squash if you like or one or the other alone. You don't have to use both. Okay? I'm going to let it simmer. Not simmer as much as you say, but you're going to cook it on the low heat, medium low heat. And you're leaving the onions and the garlic in the pan. Now I allow my onions to cook on a low heat for about three, four minutes. Then I put my garlic in. For your onions, you want to cook them until they're like translucent. All right, then I'm just going to let that cook. And as you can see, I have that on a medium low heat. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper over the zucchini. It'd be good if I take this <laughs> top off. Okay. And I'm also going to put a little bit of thyme. Fresh thyme, that is. I'll take a little bit of thyme and put it on there. Time is one of those herbs that I love. You cook it and it just changes the whole meal itself. The flavor. Okay. So I'm sprinkling that on. And I have my herbs over here. I have my dry herbs. I'm going to turn my heat off, stir that one last time, now the oven should be on 350, preheated already, hmm. now I'm going to put my zucchini mixture in a glass pan. What you want to do is you want to take some butter and spread it inside that pan as so. Okay. And then you're going to take the spatula and you're going to just put your zucchini in like that. I'm going to move this a little bit closer. 
Now, this dish <laughs> is very rich um, with the butter, as you can see, um, as well as the cream that we're going to use. We're going to be using cream and eggs. You're going to use four eggs. If you don't want as much cholesterol, you can use two. You can also use a substitute for eggs. They sell that at your local grocer. Okay. Make sure to take my heavy whipping cream. Make sure that it is heavy. It has to be heavy. And I'm going to do one cup. Okay. I'm also going to take my large eggs. I'm going to use four. Like I said, if you don't want to use four, if you only want to use three, or if you only want to use two, you can. It is up to you. And a lot of people may be watching their cholesterol. We already have butter in this, so as you can see, it is <laughs> very rich. And some people might say uh, fattening. I'm just taking a blade. The mixing blade. I know some might be saying, wait a minute, you're taking a blade to blend this? It's from the blender, mixing blender blade. I'm going to pour it right over this. And you're going to move your zucchini around so the mixture gets in good. that I have it like this. I'm going to put it in the hot put it in the oven for 50 minutes. This, this minute. Okay, here is the finished zucchini and summer squash casserole. I have sprinkled some of the Parmesan cheese over it and we're going to serve this along with the orange pork chop and the yellow rice. Okay everyone, this is the finished meal. We have the orange pork chop, yellow rice, and the summer squash zucchini casserole. And I've used my parsley as a garnish. This meal would be more on the higher calorie side. This is not something that I would eat on a regular basis because it is very high in calories. However, this is something nice that you can make for your New Year's dinner, something nice for the holidays. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment. Leave a question in the comment section. Rate, subscribe if you enjoy. Thank you for watching. The Sheik Eye Shadow. Ciao.